Okay, we're here with Daniel Babasile. And where do you come from, Daniel? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. So explain us your project, please. Okay. So my project is on trying to change the system in Nigeria, basically um, producing a new sustainable environment that is conducive for everybody to live, disregarding the contribution of the government. Basically, in a nutshell, that is what I do. So it's apart from the government contributions? Of course, yeah. So, because Nigeria is a very huge, big, and rich country. Yeah, rich for the government. Rich for the government. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're from the northern part or southern part? I'm from the southern part. Southern part of Nigeria. Okay, yeah. so what, what what does it mean practically, your project? Like, what, explain us like an example. Okay, my project, first of all, is the first fab lab in Nigeria, which I'm very proud of. And it's because um, I noticed a huge gap, a huge chasm that is never going to be closed unless somebody does something about it. So the concept is like, um, educationally, the education system in Nigeria is not good. Okay. Like I was telling earlier on, I did um, three years electrical electronics engineering, and I only went for practical twice. And when we went to the practical, they only wrote it on the board. We never did anything. Okay. So that was really so bad. So just me. theoretical and just a little. Exactly. And okay. so it's garbage in, garbage out. You're not learning anything really significant to make you the real engineer you'd like to be. And also, in terms of like social systems, there are lots of social problems in Nigeria. Okay. Number one is electricity. Number two, water. Number three, like the educational system that I spoke about. So my concept is how can we solve these problems? Okay. Because our government, they've been there since 1960. What have they done? Nothing. Okay. So my concept is the citizens have to come and solve the problem. React. Yeah, okay. exactly. And um, how can we do it? I'm looking more into people in diaspora, Nigerians in diaspora, Africans in diaspora, that has done something relative in their field, okay. contributed back to your country. And I call it the 10% give back policy. Okay. And the concept of the 10%... So, from Nigerians that went out, yeah. they worked, they made money, you're asking 10% of what they do, of, of their earnings. Their knowledge, not their earnings. Ah, okay. Their knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Like me, myself, I came to Germany, I learned about the Fab Lab. Okay. And I, so you brought back the Fab Lab? I took Fab Lab back to Nigeria, the first Fab Lab How in How do the you quantify this 10% of knowledge? This. Okay, now, let me explain the 10% policy to you is, yeah. you know, brain drainage is one of the problems in Africa. Yeah. Like I said, I want to solve some of the social problems. Then the solution that I came up with is the 10% give back policy. So with the 10%, whatever you learned outside of Africa, if you invest 10% of it back in your country, it's equivalent of 100% of what they have in the country. Okay. Mind you, earlier on I said I did electrical electronics for three years, no practical experience. But I worked in Fab Lab for a year. What I did in three years in Nigeria, what I did in Fab Lab for one year is equivalent to 100 years of what I would do in Nigeria. Okay. Because okay. of the infrastructures. But now I've learned about the Fab Lab. I've taken the first Fab Lab to Nigeria, which is good. And now I'm teaching the people how to solve social problems. We have done the solar panel workshop that we did a very crazy concept on how to, how to build a solar panel. Okay. Yeah, and I can tell you a little bit more about so, it. So it's about like this, this, for example, solar panels. It's do it by yourself, solar panels. Yeah. You, 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 you teach. I don't teach them. Yeah. They teach themselves. They teach themselves. Yeah. Okay, so this 10%, basically, we can say like it, it's a matter of quantity of time that you give? Like... Um, quantity of time, resources, whatever you can contribute to make other people's lives better. But for example, if there's a Nigerian immigrant, like in, in Germany, yeah. for example, it's, it's, it's even like possible to do it through a computer or like you, you, you require like a, a physical presence in no, the country? No, no, you can do it through a computer. You can look, a school, look at a school. Like the schools in Nigeria, the rules are leaking. Okay. You can contribute your own 10%. It's not necessary by knowledge. You can fix the roof, okay. fix the windows. You can do something for your people. That okay. is just part of it. Just invest 10% of whatever you've learned outside, whether knowledge, whether resources, invest it back in your, in your country. It would really bridge the gap between brain drainage and the government that are not doing anything because life in Nigeria is tough. So it's just trying to see how can we solve all those things ourselves. Basically, the two things are like generosity yeah. and give back give back so be grateful for the country that yeah be you... patriotic you must okay. love your country so these communities for example this fab lab that you were talking about how many people involved okay presently i'm working with my wife okay and i have two other great crazy university students that i'm working with crazy 
crazy. I like okay. crazy people. Okay, okay, no, because like, they're experimenting. No, just they just want to do whatever. Okay. I like those people. Okay. But they're not doing anything dangerous. But they just want to do something viable. They don't. They don't want to conform to any uh, any norm. Like okay. okay, this is how things should be done. No, we're not looking into that. We're looking into this is the best way or the effective way of doing things. Okay. So we have like different strategies and strategies in your heads are just useless. So we're trying to develop new ways to solve problems. So that is why I like working with crazy people that can express themselves in their own way. Okay, for now, so there's just this tiny community yeah. and, and you're wishing to enlarge it and, and to make it viral, let's say, yes. in Nigeria and then bring it outside in other parts of so Africa. Africa yeah. Are you talking to institutions to do something like this, uh, like United Nations to even smaller institutions? Being a Nigerian is, uh, is not a positive thing for me. Okay. Because you know about the Nigerian prince, the internet scam, the internet fraud, I have 20 billion, I want to give you 1 million, you know, other stuff, yeah. emails. It's, it's, it's a derogative stuff on me. Yeah. It's actually, I did a crowdfunding campaign once for my project and I got lots of abuses. So I stopped the crowdfunding. Okay. So I've tried to um, reach out to some institutions, but I guess when they see the Nigerian project, they think it's a scam. So it's not been positive yet, but all the same, I've been working with my own income, using part of my salary, getting support here and there from my wife and some friends. Also, making stuff to sell, like doing local products like this, to sell to people, to raise income for my projects. And videos? Um, Storytelling, all this. I mean, Nigeria is famous for videos. It's Nollywood, no? It's the yeah, third. Yeah, Nollywood. It's yeah. the first industry, cinema industry in all of, of Africa. Of course, of course. Have you tried this? Not to yet. To do Nollywood? No, 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 no. No, no. To tell stories, you know. To tell like, stories. Yeah, you know, the, it's. I haven't tried it because I know the the stigma attached to all those things. Okay. So I'm trying to look for another approach to okay. solve problem instead of using the normal traditional approach. Okay. So. Once I expand my strategies, then I can look into, can I marry these two strategies together? Okay. Yeah. You want to go pure on yours and yeah, then in case see. blend. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm learning from here and there as well. I'm looking at what is happening in Hollywood or whatever they're doing over there, which I still think they can do better. Okay. So I don't really want to be attached to anything that is not good enough for me. Okay. Daniel, yeah. I wish you all the good luck. Yeah. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you very much. And the best for you. Thank you very much. Ci vediamo tra un po' noi.